11 here, Mun Muncho Lake, uh, getting some fuel out of these vintage fuel pumps, uh, which is great. Gorgeous drive this morning through uh, a couple of state or provincial parks. Um, left uh, Toad River, uh, the Folding Mountain Bed and Breakfast this morning, and uh, had a gorgeous drive through some winding river uh, canyons, and uh, captured that on GoPro and uh, just making sure I stay up on fuel because I'm not sure the distances between my fuel stops going to Whitehorse today which is 474 miles so uh, this is my last long uh, close to 500 mile day the rest of them will drop down to mostly about 400 miles and uh, so spectacular crisp morning high 30s when I got up had some coffee in that bed and breakfast which was like a hunting lodge uh, in fact, uh, the hunting season's going on right now for the stone sheep, so uh, which are similar to bighorn sheep. And in fact, I saw uh, several of those, caught those on GoPro a little earlier, and uh, saw some woodland caribou along the highway. So just 
amazing wildlife going on here. So day 11, starting out great, and uh, just looking forward to winding my way to Whitehorse. this out a uh, black bear sow with two cubs right below me in the right of way of the highway right down there beautiful
Okay, just entered Yukon Territory, the town of Watson Lake, and came up across this uh, interesting city uh, city gathering spot where people are putting up signs, road signs, and license plates, and all kinds of signs from wherever they're from, travelers to this part of the region, and it's just spectacular. So, uh, it's hard to describe how many signs there are here. Uh, 10,000? I don't know. The amount of travelers it took to create this uh, monument of, uh, of travel along the Alaska Highway is just unbelievable. Uh, I can't, I mean, I really can't put my mind around how many signs are here. And there's something from just about everywhere in the world, not just the United States or Canada. But there are signs literally from all of the world here. So what an amazing tribute to the traveler across this uh, wild territory of the Yukon and northern Canada up to the Alaska, the state of Alaska. So uh, along the Alaska Highway, what a fantastic stop. Okay, this is for you, Dad. Uh, all along the highway here uh, in British Columbia, there are these uh, pine trees that have uh, the bark stripped off of them, and they're pretty big. And so the past few miles, there's just been hundreds of them. And so uh, I suspect it's, uh, it's due to moose activity, maybe elk, but probably moose, doing some moose rubs here. So I thought I'd show you uh, how this bark's been stripped off here. You can see the ground is all churned up here in different spots. Look at these trees, Dad. Figured you'd appreciate this. Anyway, I rode the, the scooter off the highway here down the embankment and it did real good. So, I'm in uh, Yukon territory now, about 100 miles um, south of Whitehorse, Yukon. And one thing that just jumps out at me, as the miles roll by, just the amount of forest there are uninterrupted, literally thousands of miles. Uh, of, of spruce and pine everywhere, uh, even with all the logging uh, operations that I've, I've seen. It's just amazing how, how vast these forests are and how they just go on and on for miles and miles in every direction. Tremendous amount of wildlife and uh, just a gorgeous drive today. And uh, really, believe it or not, the traffic's pretty light considering how gorgeous this country is. So I've just been really uh, impressed uh, with, the, with the highways and uh, the scenes. Dozens and dozens of rivers and creeks. Um, some of the rivers, well, the biggest rivers are massive, um, but there are a tremendous amount of smaller rivers that are on par with like the Arkansas River in Colorado. And there's just dozens of those everywhere, dozens of lakes um, and just wildlife. I've lost count of the amount of bears I've seen on the side of the road, uh, just eating berries or whatever's, in, um, whatever's ripe right now. So uh, Yukon Territory is amazing. British Columbia was awesome. That's when I started this morning. And so just, uh, just in awe of this uh, splendid nature around me.